We teach Lego to our first years. They, they arrive and it's one of the first things they do is they hear me stand and say how wonderful Lego robots are and then within, within a week they're in this lab, this is a 24 hour access lab, and they're in this lab building robots and I put them into teams, into groups and they get given a key to one of the kind of lockers and inside their locker is enough robot kit for them to do something, well, to do whatever they want. And I give them their first robot plans, they spend six weeks building their own Lego projects. When I first came to Ro Holloway, I virtually have no experience in programming, in robotics, or in computer science in general. And Dave was the first person I met, and he gave me some inspiration to, to, to take on programming seriously. And the, the way the staff in the computer science department, they they do not tell you exactly what you have to do, but they gave you some sort of ideas and you have to go away and build on that, implement that yourself, experience that and prove that you are capable to take on challenges. Mostly it's towards the engineering departments, but I saw it as a way of teaching them to program by accident. So, so even, though, even though they think they're just playing around with Lego and making robots, Actually, they're learning some quite hard programming techniques. This room is staffed, so for six hours a week there are people here, expert LEGO designers and programmers, who can help them build their robots. But most of the time, they're, they're, they're kind of competitive with the other students. So they, they lock their robots away, they come in here at three in the morning, they're, they're building their robots, they're programming their robots. And the course was so successful that they, the students at the staff student committee demanded a second year course where we took some of the real guiding principles of robotics where they, they look at control loops and control theory and maze solving algorithms and proper uh, understanding of sensor, uh, sensor and actuator hardware and how you would program it. And, and they, they get as far as doing localization, which is still a, a, a reasonably active research area. Thank you.